Hello, Siegfried here from Cloudbest Accountants. Today I want to discuss tax pooling. Um, so you might have heard the word or the uh, concept of tax pooling and I have made previous videos in this respect. Tax pooling is where you can uh, postpone your um, provisional tax payments and other tax payments, but in this case I just want to focus on provisional tax payments to a future date. Um, it is obviously a great tool in your toolbox as far as cash flow plan planning is concerned. So this morning I just want to show you how tax pooling works. So usually when at the year end, once we've done your financials, we will um, notify you um, and it's uh, in your tax return, you will notice that you have three provisional tax um, installments payable. The first one is on the 28th of August of the current year. The second one is on the 15th of January of the following year. And then the last one on the 7th of May of the following year. So let me quickly share my screen with you. Then um, I can show you uh, how it actually works. So this is the um, this is the dashboard of Tax Management New Zealand, and we use this um, uh, entity or provider uh, for most of our clients. Uh, this is just to explain the concept. So what we do is we then uh, we've got your details, so we know that you've got three installment amounts of five thousand dollars for these different periods. So you can see that's a 2024 tax year and there's the due dates for each installment. Now the problem is if you pay these late, if you pay directly to IRD, you will get late payment penalties and obviously interest. In this case, if you make use of tax pooling, you won't get, get um, late payment penalties. Um, I will not go into the technical details, but this is a great way to postpone your payments and also know exactly how much interest um, you will uh, pay. So um, in this instance, I've pre-populated everything and um, I'm just going to next. And there you can see that uh, the arrangement. So now you can set the dates here. You can set, we set the dates and let's say we extend it to the maximum allowable in this instance. It's the 16th of um, April 2025. Uh, so about 18 months in the future. So we can extend it that far. Um, obviously, that's the absolutely cut off date. And that's the date that you should have paid everything. Um, well, let's work on that date. Immediately, you can see this is the interest um, uh, calculated based on the interest rate as it is today. So you can see already if you postpone it to to through that payment dates, let's say you only pay your provisional tax all you know the three installments by their date, that will be the interest payable. So this is this is how easy uh, tax pooling um, is functioning. Um, as I say, they, as far as ID is concerned, uh, it will not be considered as a late payment. Um, it, the only um, payment, uh, additional payment involved will be the interest that you will pay to the tax pooling uh, entity. So I hope this uh, was informative. Um, and um, yeah, don't hesitate to, um, to get in touch with me if you want to know more about tax pooling. Uh, we usually suggest uh, to our clients to uh, utilize tax pooling if we see that um, they already pay late uh, on payments or if they uh, communicate with us and and and, me and mention that they've got tax flow issues and not, where they will not be able to pay so yeah don't hesitate to get in touch with me and then i can arrange tax pooling for you obviously if you are a client thanks and see you later